ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you back to another episode of Effort Friday here on the channel. And today, I'm going back, 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 back to the year 1986. You guys may be familiar with the Metroid series. May not be as popular as some of the other Nintendo IPs or anything of the sort. And it turns out uh, Metroid was vastly more popular in the West than it was in Japan. But... We are going to go into Metroid this week for Effort Friday. We're going to play a little bit of it. A series that I did not really grow up playing. And out of the five mainline Metroid games, uh, in regards to that, uh, so yeah, one, two, Super Metroid. Uh, no, was uh, Metroid Under M considered mainline or anything like that? I don't know. But the only ones I have beaten were Metroid 2, Return of Samus on the Game Boy, and Metroid Dread, the most recent release. I have not gotten into the 3D, well, I've gotten into Metroid Prime, that was the first one I have, and I actually do own a copy of the remaster on the Switch. I'll probably show that off at a future date, uh, but we're just going to go to the very first Metroid here, and... If you heard of the term Metroidvania, it is basically because of a mixture because of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where you had Castlevania elements, but the gameplay style was akin to Metroid, where you go to different areas, uh, look for key items, then go back to another area to get another key item, ladder, rinse, repeat, repeat until you get to the bosses, destroy them, defeat them, and then of course go into Mother Brain's base until you eventually encounter Mother Brain and defeat her. This is the planet Ze uh, planet Zebus, or, or I think it's what the uh, game calls it. But I don't, or I just know of like later planets like SR388 because of Metroid 2 and all that fun stuff. But again, you're playing as Samus, a female bounty hunter, who at the time of this game's release was a pretty big secret in terms of that. You really didn't see many uh, female female characters play the hero role. Especially back then in the 80s, uh, back in the gaming world or get stuff like that. Usually the female uh, badassery was, uh, you didn't see much of that. All you basically saw was a lot of like damsels in distress and people being kidnapped. And the guy goes in, saves the day, steals the kiss, whatnot, what have you. But um, in Metroid's case, a lot of people for in the beginning thought, you know, Samus was a man. But if you get, if I think if you manage to beat the game quick enough... Uh, you do get an ending where Samus takes off the suit completely and is revealed to be a woman in a pink suit and green hair. And I think that look will be reused later on as like special costumes or anything like that in like future Metroid games and such. But yeah, so we had the mainline series Metroid 1, Metroid 2 Return to Samus, uh, Super Metroid on a Super Nintendo, considered the best Super Nintendo game of all time. Uh, I didn't grow up with this, so I can't really say for sure, and I haven't really played it much, except for maybe like an hour's worth of gameplay throughout my entire life. And it's just, I'm just going through back and forth here as I'm talking through. You see me going through here, and you don't have a map or anything that tells you where you need to go. So, first time playing Metroid, if it's open world, open-ended, up oh, can't open this door because I do need missiles. Something I do not have as of yet. And you know what? Let's just die. Every time you die, and it will happen a lot in this game, you in the original, you get a password feature, you get sent back to the beginning of the area. Uh, I think it's like three main areas in the game. You have uh, the main area here, you have uh, Craig's, uh, Craig's Lair, uh, Ridley's area. And, of course, Ridley was named after Ridley Scott, the director of Aliens, uh, or Alien, or Aliens, um, in that aspect as well. But you start off with 30 health. Later games would finish or fix this, because you can go up to, like, 99 max at the start. As you can see, the number increased. And you can collect energy tanks along the way to increase your health permanently, uh, so that way you, oof, so that way you can uh, survive through the adventure, so to speak. Uh, no, I don't have any bombs or anything like that for now, so we'll just, we'll deal with that later. But yeah, you just go through, check different areas, walk around, go around. You're basically just adventuring until you find all the pieces you need. Now, first Metroid game has a big issue in hand, 
and that is that there is a lot of copy and paste rooms uh, in this game to try to artificially lengthen the adventure for the players out there. But you're going to come across rooms that you swore you've dealt with before because you've seen the same similar patterns of the blocks that you're jumping through or you remember like I remember there's a missile here um, so if you don't have a guide or anything like that be prepared to be on this for hours upon hours. I'm talking like Zelda level type hours and stuff like that same thing akin to Legend of Zelda if you didn't have a map or a guide or anything like that you was walking around that game without knowing where to go what to do same case here actually both from at least the same year as well 1986 uh, in regards to that but yeah Metroid coming up with this first Castlevania will steal it hence the term Metroidvania we got a nice little new area that we can come across here as long as I don't fucking die should be a okay Uh, I need the bomb, which means this is probably not the way to go first. I think it only beeps after you go get below 15. Should be one more door up here. Nope. Okay, no. So I just got to drop all the way down now. Ooh. Yeah, you'll get sneak, uh, sneak attacks on you like that, too. And also as well, thanks to the lovely NES programming, sometimes if an enemy is traveling through a door that you're entering in, the enemy will travel with you and give you uh, give you damage that you really can't avoid. So have fun with that too. Go, go, go. I need some energy. Okay, wow. Man, she'll avoid both at the same time. Oh, boy. Come on. Into the lava. And that's another game over. All right, so we already know where to go. By the way, with the password system feature, you can input various codes and there's like there's obviously set codes to where you can get max health, uh, max weaponry, or max missiles, stuff like that. You can have pa they have passwords that take you to the very end. You have passwords that actually switch out Samus to her uh, to the uh, to just without her suit, and you can just play as just a Samus skin and all, and uh, just move forward from there. Oh my God, I'm fucking dying already. Yeah, see, the original Metroid is not something you go I come across to. I jumped, sir. Excuse me. Is there anything down here? No, we just got to keep going up and to the right. So we're going to try this one more time. I could use energy, health, please, somebody... Beautiful. Samus will obtain power-ups along the way as well, so you're not basically a bear. Uh, she will get missile. Like I said, missile packs is a big, big one. I keep mentioning missiles. She will also get high jump boots, which will allow her to jump higher. Uh, she can get the um, uh, high jump boots. Screw attack, which allows her to uh, attack in mid air with a full jump. As you can see, she's spinning around like that. But uh, with the screw attack, she actually becomes a weapon and can actually destroy enemies as well. Energy tanks to help you refill. I think you can get up to six or something of the sort. Uh, six energy tanks in total. Beautiful. For the most part, Samus controls pretty smoothly. Uh, with her jumps and stuff like that, maybe a little bit rough to navigate it may require just a tiny bit of adjustment but in terms of gameplay actual controls and stuff like that everything responds is how you should a button is your jump b is to shoot um oof. b 
is to shoot, uh, when you get the long beam or when you get the long shot, you can, uh, you know, the bullets will travel, of course, to the screen there. And you can see there's a lot of fucking enemies here on screen. Bark, 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 bark. Run like a chicken, Samus. See if we can get over here. Uh, that, I know that beeping is annoying. That's a common thing from these games back in the day. Uh, with some certain health. And here we go. That is an energy tank. So now we have a square, additional square of health. Max is energy is maxed out at 99 with the square. Each square represents 99 health. So I have about 198 right now. And if you're going to search out anything first, my first suggestion would be those damn energy tanks because you're going to need all the health that you can get when traversing through the adventure here. Now, in the back area, there was an area in which we weren't able to get uh, able to open the door because of missiles. And I believe it might be the same case up here as well. Yeah, so I need to figure out where the hell the missiles are. I also need to find out the bomb. Uh, there is a bomb. Ooh, nope, can't go up there. Actually, I wonder if it is in here. Uh, you can get a bomb power-up, which allows you to place bombs when you're curled up in the ball by pressing down twice. Fuck you. See if this requires a missile. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember where it's and where I don't remember where this shit is. So Okay, I'm on, I'm just gonna follow you. That's okay. Probably missed the back somewhere in that first area. That's fine. Just be careful not to take any cheap shots. Oh well, I guess I am gonna have to traverse back. Cool. So by this point, I should already have at least bombs and missiles. Oh, no, 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 get away, get away. That shit will drain your energy and it'll drain it quick. I think it drops like one every half second or something like that. And if you're in there too long, guess what? You're fucking, you're a goner. Come on, I might at least try to find bombs and missiles beforehand. Oh, look at that. The enemy is just swinging on the uh, bottom there. Now, I do believe I need to go below Ooh, once I get to the other side. Fuck you. No, no, come on. Thank you. Yeah, you got a lot of enemies. You got a lot of lag going on right now. Can we go further down? Yes, we can. Let's see what we can find in here. Stand below these enemies because they'll dive bomb. Just shoot up and you should be okay. Energy capsule. Missiles! Finally! So we have five missiles to boot, and now they become collectibles as well. When you start using them, of course. Yeah, I'm now with basically low health here. What can we go on this side here? Oh, this leads to the area. I wonder what area is this? Is this Cray? Uh, Cray? Excuse me, Cray's Lair or Ridley? Ridley. Ridley's lair. Let's 
So now that we know the location of that, I think we can probably go for a few couple more minutes. I'm going to try to, since I got the five missiles, I got exactly the amount of missiles I need to be able to open the door. So if I can just make it to the other side safely, as I fall into fucking lava. Beautiful. I'm one day I do hope to be able to do an LP of this because I would like to get into the Metroid series uh, for the channel here. Uh, but of course, I'm probably gonna have to get a. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize the dive bombs were that intense. Okay. Ooh, close. Just me. Oh, I took a hit. Now we climb all the way back up because we can open up that, uh... Go all the way up top. We can open that door with the red door. The red, uh, marking. Nope, that's just the air between... That's just back and forth between two areas. Let me get up here. There are three bosses in the game in total. Of course, Cray, uh, Craid and Ridley. Uh, basically, your bonus of getting them is just a fuck ton of missiles for the most part. Um, I mean, just a little bit further up above. That's where we found the energy tank. Oh, or I guess not. We have to go back one more. Ah, shit. Try not to take any damage than needed. I, I said try. I tried. Just gotta make it up top here now. There we go. Okay. So now that we got the red door here, let's push this out the way. You want to push the select button to activate your missiles. You'll know you'll have them with the color change here. Press B. You got a Chozo statue here. And this Chozo statue is holding an important item. L. For loser. No. No. Uh, it's the long beam. Basically, you can now, uh, your bullets now shoot across the screen, which is nice. Actually, let me, uh, probably a lot easier just to kill myself and go back to the very beginning. I uh, should go into that one door that we did not see yet, because I think that one has the bomb. Basically, the items you will find, for the most part, will be uh, health tanks and missile expansion packs. You do have a couple of weapon options. You have the wave beam, you have the ice beam, which freezes enemies, but does take double double hits in order for them to kill. Enemies do have a drop rate between missiles and energy, so right now I, I still do need five missiles. All right, nice. Drops two for me. Nice little health expansion as well. Always use that. It's always nice to have. I love how Samus runs like a chicken. Ah, damn. I was hoping it was, uh... Nah. All right. One more. Let me just get one more, then we'll call it. There's all the way up here. I do need a missile. One more missile will do, but I can probably get that in the room. Beautiful. Health, not really too concerned about at the moment. The drops do go away eventually if you're not fast enough on the draw to pick them up. We, Whoa, baby. Okay, slow down, Sammy. 
Fuck you, Sammy. Thank you, Mr. Enemy. All right, one more missile. Come on. Where do I get the missiles? Beautiful. Right at the door we needed, too. Uh, did I get that already? I sure did. Hmm. Okay. There's probably another room up... Oh, it was the one up ahead. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I think we spent enough time on this one here. I mean, we end up getting a long beam, an energy tank, and uh, some missiles in the process for a 20-minute session. I mean, that's not really bad or anything of the sort. But, you know, Metroid can be completed in, like, in an hour or two. Um... Actually, I don't even know what the world record is right now. Without glitches, because there is ways you can glitch everything. And Actually, no, 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 no. Was it here? Yeah, I'm, like, focused on this shit now. It's like, I don't know, I want to find it. <laughs> That's the thing about Metroid. It's like, I mean, I play it often, but when I do, sometimes I'll get sucked into it. Uh, sucked into it, and it's like, where do I find this shit? And my dumbass in all my years have never thought to look at a guide or anything like that or a map or anything of the sort. Okay, I think... Yeah, okay. Let's just go ahead and commit Sudoku one more time. All right, we're going to bring you back, Samus, for one more round. That's the password on screen. But I think now is good a time to call it for this episode of F it with Samus showing. Ah, look at that. Everything's looking fine and dandy. I thought I was going to hit her. But that's going to do it for this episode of F it Friday. Next week when we come back, we'll continue with our regularly scheduled programming. Actually, the summer LP will start. And, uh... I think you guys may be in for a little bit a little bit different for the summer RPGs, but it's a little shorter, so I have a couple up lined up after that. But until then, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantastic day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night. <laughs>